Malachi chapter 3, uh, start from verse 1. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, said the Lord of hosts. Praise the Lord. Now, um, from this verse 1, I would want us to have a short study. Um, I see the word messenger in two places. First, it said, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. So this first messenger would prepare um, the way before the Lord. Hallelujah. It says, and he shall prepare the way before me. Praise the Lord. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant. Praise the Lord. Whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, said the Lord of hosts. Verse 2. But who may abide the day of his coming and who shall stand when he appeareth for he is like a refiner's fire and like a fuller's soap and he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver and he shall purify the sons of liver and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness praise the Lord now I want to go back to verse 1 and pick up from the uh, first messenger. It says that this messenger shall go before him and shall prepare the way before him. My mind can't go to anyone other than John the Baptist. I want to see what John the Baptist's um, ministry is like. And to be able to do that, I have to go to the book of Luke, chapter 1, and I'll look at verse... Um, 76. Uh, this is Zechariah who is uh, prophesying about his son um, John the Baptist. And he said in Luke chapter 1, verse 76 And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high has visited us to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I see this. This is actually the prophecy, the work that uh, uh, John the Baptist would do um, when he uh, grows up as a young man. Um, I will look at verse, let's look at verse 80, and it says, And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit and was in the desert to the day of his showing unto Israel. Praise God. Now, this is uh, the prophecy that, uh, or the job specification that uh, Zechariah, the father of uh, John the Baptist, uh, laid down for his son. Now, if you see this, you would um, um, understand what was being said uh, in the book of uh, Malachi. Uh, let's go back to it again. Look at Malachi chapter 4, verse 5. He says, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the hearts of the Father to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers. And then he said, lest I come and smite the earth 
with a curse. Hallelujah. I'm very pushed to, I'm very much pushed or led by the Spirit to um, talk about the ministry of John the Baptist. Hallelujah. It says in uh, Matthew chapter 3, verse 1, it says, In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken by the prophet Elias, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Hallelujah. Make his paths straight. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair and a leathern girdle about his loins and his meat was locusts and wild honey hallelujah praise the lord the ministry of john the baptist like i said before is a very strong and um, important ministry in the program of salvation because uh, especially uh, program of salvation to israel um, Israel is uh, uh, a nation of people. Um, they have been practicing the law of Moses and it has yielded a lot of profit and increase for Israel. So um, it would have been a very difficult thing for Israel to accept uh, Jesus uh, when it, when, uh, at his arrival you know, to uh, Israel. So it was necessary for John the Baptist to be sent and that's why the book of Malachi tells us that uh, I will send the messenger uh, to prepare the way of the Lord so God had to send Elijah hallelujah we, we saw that in the book of uh, Malachi chapter uh, I'll read Malachi chapter 4 um, uh, verse 5 it says I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord and he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers lest I come and smite the earth with a curse hallelujah this is um, this is uh, um, something that the Lord uh, thought very very profitable to do by sending um, uh, Elijah. Elijah is, um, uh, is, is a spirit. It was very important for um, Elijah to have been sent. Like I said before, that's, um, that uh, coming of uh, John the Baptist, the Bible said that he came in the spirit of Elijah. So there is a spirit that is called the spirit of Elijah. Now that spirit, when it comes, it brings about a turning of men's heart. It's a very strong spirit that has the ability to turn the heart of men. Hallelujah. To Lord, to the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that's what John the Baptist did. So going back to John to the book of Matthew, Matthew um start reading from uh chapter three, uh we see that um, in verse 2 he said repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand hallelujah now when he started off all this um, of course we know uh, that uh, the Pharisees uh, the uh, doctors of law the uh, Sadducees all came um, to inquire of him who exactly um, uh, he is Matthew chapter 3 verse 11 it says I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance but he that cometh after me is mightier than I whose shoes I am not worthy to bear he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire two things with the Holy Ghost and with fire and then verse 12 it says whose fan is in his hands 
and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner. But he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Praise the Lord. I want to read it again. It says, whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the Ghana. Praise the Lord. You see there's a similarity here between what we just read now and uh, what we read in the book of Malachi uh, chapter 3 where it says in verse 3 it says in verse 3 um, he is seen as a refiner Um, let me see verse 3 and he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver and he shall purify the sons of Levi and, pur and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness hallelujah verse 4 then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord as in the days of old as in the former years hallelujah praise the Lord um, I see um, the ministry of John the Baptist very very strategic very very strategic because Jesus is a heavenly man Jesus actually came from heaven he's a heavenly being so uh, uh, there's a need for someone in between. You know, somebody that has been raised to a particular height. That's why if you go back to the book of Luke, you see what John the Baptist's father said. Luke chapter 1, um, uh, verse 76. It says, And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest. You see? And thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. So it was very important for John to come. If John had not come, it would have been difficult for Israel to understand what Jesus was talking about. There had to be a go-between. When John the Baptist came, he didn't go to the temple to do his ministration because he was of the seed of Zechariah. His father was a priest that has his own lot and has his own time of ministration. Hallelujah. So being the son of Zechariah, he had that entitlement to minister as a priest in the temple. Praise God. But instead, he was driven by the Holy Ghost to the wilderness. And we saw where in the book of Luke, um, um, chapter 80, it tells us, Luke chapter 1, verse 80, sorry, and it tells us, and the child grew and was strong in spirit and was in the desert. So it means that as a child, he went into the desert. Praise the Lord. Until the day of his showing unto Israel. Hallelujah. When he came, he didn't come with blood. Of bulls and of goats uh, but rather he came with water hallelujah and he introduced um, the ministry of baptism in water hallelujah and when he did that he doesn't come with the ministry of baptism he also came with teachings and he taught Israel taught Israel taught Israel because John the Baptist was a teacher he taught Israel look at what his father said to give knowledge Luke chapter 1 verse 77 to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins hallelujah through the tender mercies of God whereby the day spring from on high had visited us Hallelujah. So John the Baptist was a teacher. Um, and like I said, 
it was very important for him to come before the Lord to prepare the way of the Lord. He had to prepare the way of the Lord. If you look at his teachings in um, Luke chapter 3, verse 4, as it is written in the book of the words of Elias the prophet, saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough road shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, this description, or this repair work, is not something that is made or done outside of the body. This is something that is done in the heart of man. So when he was saying, make, when he was saying, um, prepare the way of the Lord, every valley shall be filled, every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of the Lord. What he was talking about is that the heart of men should be prepared to receive their Savior. The heart of, of Israel was supposed to have been made ready for the Lord. So the ministry of John the Baptist, finally, is very important. It had to be so that Israel could be able to translate or transfer from the ministry of the law into the ministry of grace. Hallelujah. God bless you.